Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles. With a knowledgeable sales staff and amazing service departments, you'll drive away satisfied. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City, MackeyMotors.com. Jeff Langman joined here today by Ella Wilson and also Kendall Quirk with the ESAC Girls of Golf Team. We're up here in at Sac City. They just wrapped up a quad that was originally supposed to be up in Manson today, but got moved to their home course earlier this afternoon because of the wetness up at the course at Manson. Still wet, kind of windy and cold here today. Ella, how did you feel like your round went? Um, my round didn't go too bad. I've been consistent the last few meets, so I'd, I was happy with what I scored. You mentioned being consistent. Where do you think that came from and kind of what started that, do you think? Um, my drives have been very consistent throughout the whole year. I've struggled with my hybrids, but I've actually improved a lot on those. Lately, I think I've just been struggling with my irons, and my putting's been decent, not terrible. Okay, so you started on what hole today? Seven. Seven. Take me through those first couple of holes. How did they play out for you? Um, seven could have been better. My drive went left and hit the tree and dropped down. My second and third shot were okay, and I finished with a seven. Not terrible, but not great. <laughs> How'd you kind of bounce back off of that? Do you think you, you pick things up after that? Yeah, I, I tend to get in my head a lot, so I just have to take a deep breath, relax. Um, hole nine was worse. I actually got an eight, but then after that, I was on the uh, path okay. doing good. So take me through holes one and two then. Uh, if things started to turn around there, what started to work for you? Was it the driver kind of coming on? Yeah, chipping, putting was better aspect of things. Okay. Which holes did you feel like you putted well today? Did you make any 8, 10 footers, anything like that or longer? I would say hole 3, I putted good. And hole 5. Okay. And 6, I had a really long putt that I helped me out a lot. Take me through that putt then on 6. How long was it? And, and, and take me through the read on the brakes and everything. Um, It was uphill, so I know I needed to hit it a little harder. And then my second putt was iffy i knew i could make it but sometimes i don't make it when i need to so take me through you know your irons out in the fairway today uh did they did they save you at times did they work pretty well yeah kind of sometimes i would hit over the green sometimes i'd be short just depends so what's the goal for you with state qualifying coming up here soon the season starting to wrap up a little bit um just relax don't get in my head i feel like that's the biggest thing this year my drive just keep having my drives be consistent my hybrids have been doing really good i have my footwork in like my how i need to be level worked out for that well, i tell you what great job out here today appreciate you joining us Smith, and the best of luck coming up the rest of the way thank you you bet let's move over now to kendall quirk who's going to join us and kendall had the round go for you here today uh, my round went all right i had some highs and lows Okay. I, I saw you on one. I know I followed you a little bit on hole one. So take me through that because I thought that second shot looked like it dropped on. So take me through that hole and how that one played out. That hole went pretty well. Um, I know how long it is to the, because it's like a dog leg to the right. Mm -hmm. I usually hit my six iron on that and it hit, goes to the end. And then I had my pitching wedge and I hit it on the green. So that one I did shoot par and I was really excited about that hole. Any other pars today? Um, I don't think I had any other pars. Um, hole nine, I shot a six, and I would have had a four, but I had an out-of-bounds shot. And then hole five, I also would have shot a four, but I had an out-of-bounds shot off the mm. tee box. Otherwise, those would have been fours, which would have been nice. But Pretty pleased with the way you're playing right now? I'm okay. I'm feeling okay about it. I mean, I feel like last year I ended up the year in the 40s a little bit, and I haven't been there quite yet this year. I've been low 50s, and I'm just trying to break into the 40s. One of these meets coming up. Would have today have been one of those days if it wouldn't have been for the two out-of-bounds? Yeah, I would have been a 50, and then I had some bad putts and stuff. I probably could have definitely gotten in the 40s. But that's just a big goal I have for myself is to try to get into the 40s when it comes into postseason. So what was going on with the putter today? <laughs> my putting wasn't very good or my chipping. My chipping improved a lot, especially on the conference meet the other day, but it kind of went downhill. On what our par 3 over on hole 2, I was just I kept on blading the ball, and I kept on shooting it across the screen, which I haven't done very much. So, yeah, I just need to work on my short game a lot. You mentioned the conference meet. You girls win the conference championship. First, congratulations to you and Thank the whole you. team. But uh, what does that mean for this group to, to be conference champions? It was really exciting. I've been out since freshman year, and some of the other girls haven't been here. Me and Sid have been here since I was a freshman, and it was just really awesome. I mean, I struggled a lot my freshman year, and I've improved so much, and it's just cool to see how we're now conference champs okay. after how hard we've worked. Great job today all season long. Congrats on that championship, and I think you guys got a good, good, good chance to make some noise in the postseason, so best of luck. So, thank you so much.